Hello, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another OS operating system. Today's episode, it's all about Samsung's original Samsung DeX. So anyway, uh, let me start with this one because I've been using the Linux for quite a while. As you can see, this kind of desktop environment right now they're using on the original DeX of the Samsung DeX, which is it comes with their tablet i always use the original not the not so dex anymore or the desktop experience anymore because the the new version of the samsung dex is not actually a desktop anymore it's just like you know it's a name it's a brand anyways so right now the desktop experience that i've been using right here in my samsung dex is the original and this is not the android thing it is the desktop so i've been using this for quite a while since i have my samsung and i've been using the samsung desk desktop environment for quite a while and i really like it because it is the original which is also a linux as you can see right here on the bottom it is the same with the genome or gnu desktop environment and the new thing or the new desktop it's just like the android it is not the desktop anymore so let's start with the desktop user interface so as you can see, we have the start menu button right here, the three by three dots. When I click right here, I have a lot of application already. So this is the start menu button. We also have the open apps right here. We have the camera, messenger, YouTube, Canva, Firefox, and my two Facebook and of course my gallery for my photos right here on the lower right we have the notification with the time and date right here our calendar we also have the battery which is in 60% right now and I am using the data right now Plus, we have all the icons right here. It's just like in Linux. We have all the icons right here. If you're wondering, Android, Samsung DeX are all actually Linux. So if you are being asked, do you know how to use Linux? Yes, of course, you're using it right now. That is the most popular OS right now. It is the Android Linux. Of course, we also have the distros like the Samsung DeX or the desktop environment of the GNU Linux built in right here in our Samsung. Okay. So how do we change our appearance? Well, let's go to the settings. Let's click our settings right here. So we have different wallpapers, of course. Let's go to the wallpaper. So either you have to change your style right here. Change wallpaper. You have all the options right here. So you can choose. Let me zoom in. Okay. So you have all the options right here. Of course, you can also change what you want. Like, do you want to change your pictures like you taken with? So you have the options right there. Plus the created AI. So you could also generate this kind of advanced artificial intelligent drawing in our Linux built-in AI already. It's been going on for a long time 
were using AI for quite a while right here in Linux. But in Windows, they just started to come along and market it as if they are the original who created this type of AI. You have to thank the Linux community for all of this because the developers in Linux is actually developing much faster than your Microsoft Windows or the Apple computers Mac. There are always the innovator. Like, for example, if you like the internet. Well, Linux and Unix actually built that particular internet. You also have to think Linux for the supercomputer's operating system and kernel. You have to think Linux for the Android because Android is a project of Linux. You have to think Samsung for building up Linux. You have to think Linux at the same time for your space exploration like the computers of your scientists, scientists in NASA. They are actually using Red Hat Linux. So let's try to see the graphics right here. Let's open this one. So these are the wallpaper of our Samsung DeX. So you have also the AI right here for your chat, for your assistance for your troubleshooting, the browser experience. Well, you have to think actually Linux for the web browsers that you are using right now because all of your web browser even your Microsoft Edge is actually from Linux okay let's go to the application so the application of course I'm using Samsung we have the contacts plus the smart thing yes smart thing is actually in Linux so you have basically all of that you have recorder right here it comes with Google application at the same time like the Google Chrome the Google Drive the Google Mail the Google Calendar the Google TV of course and maps your meet your photos messenger and all of those stuff even your translate so it comes with that one so you have to download from the Play Store of Google or you can also download some of the application from the Samsung store right here. So let's click the Samsung store. Most of our Samsung gallery store is free. Some of them are basically subscription based or one time fee. So you have to admire some of the applications your apps right here like your arcade game like the hill climb it's absolutely for free you can enjoy that one the heavy graphics I really don't care so you can always download from your Samsung gallery store how about if you're looking for the only office the substitution for your office suite which is always like the payment of the monthly is always unbearable if you are using that one. And if you're using only Office, well, I already installed that one. It's absolutely for free. It is basically like your Microsoft Office, but actually they they pay for the software like to modify it some sort of like payment but it is basically a donation into the Linux so you can open your Microsoft Word Excel PowerPoint in just only one application not like Microsoft Office you have to pay that one Microsoft Excel you have to pay that one if you have the Microsoft PowerPoint you have to pay another one and the PDF editor 
like the Acrobat editor. You have to pay that one with the Adobe. But in Linux, you don't have to pay. It's absolutely for free. And you can download that one. The Samsung Galaxy Store from your Samsung DeX. Okay. You could always open that one and accept access. Yes, I permit that one. So as you can see, you could open the PDF document presentation or PowerPoint spreadsheet for your Excel. You can always open that one. Let's close that one. That is the application. VLC. If you like to play with your VLC, it's actually a Linux application. You can look into that one into their website. Just search for that one in the Google uh, search. Okay, for example, let's look for VLC. Yeah, go to the search button, VLC player. There you have it. You could always download that one. Let's click download. So it is now downloading. So that is how you download your favorite application from Linux. So my remarks and conclusion with Samsung DeX, the desktop environment, the original Samsung DeX, well, feels like really a Linux. Uh, installation, it comes already, so you have to just use it. You have to just click the Samsung DeX or the desktop experience button. And the experience that I have, it is not too hard. Why? It's just basically like a touchscreen desktop Linux. It's just that easy. How to install? It's very easy. Just go to the Google Play Store or the Samsung Store to download your application. How about the overall experience that I've been using? The, instead of the mouse, I use the pen. Well, the S Pen is great. You don't have to recharge every day. It's just like put it and it works all the time. So if you have some question, feel free to ask me. Write it in the comments down below. I'm Blair, your science, computer, and mathematics teacher. Bye for now and see you in the next episode of OS Operating System. Today's episode is all about Samsung original Samsung DeX desktop environment with it of course, the touch of the genome desktop environment of Linux. Bye for now and see you in the next episode. Ciao.